We're asked to find the component form of the vector v if the magnitude of vector v equals 24 and when drawn in standard position, vector v makes a 245.7 degree angle with the positive x-axis. And we're told to round to two decimal places. Let's first sketch vector v in standard position. The angle is measured from the positive x-axis counterclockwise. So here's the initial side of the angle. If we rotate to the negative x-axis, that would be 180 degrees. If we rotate to the negative y-axis, that would be 270 degrees. And therefore the vector falls somewhere in the third quadrant, let's say approximately here, where again the angle of rotation or the direction of the vector is indicated by this angle here, which measures 245.7 degrees. Next, we know the magnitude of the vector is 24, which means the length of this vector is 24 units. So let's go ahead and label this the magnitude of vector v equals 24. So notice when we find the component form of the vector, both the x component and y component are going to be negative because the vector lies in the third quadrant. And now from here, if a vector v, and now from here, if a vector v makes an angle theta with the positive x-axis, then the x component is equal to the magnitude of vector v times cosine theta, and the y component is equal to the magnitude of v times sine theta. And we showed earlier, this is the same as stating that x equals r cosine theta and y equals r sine theta, where r is the magnitude of the vector. Which means for our vector v, the x component is equal to 24 times cosine, 245.7 degrees, and the y component is equal to 24 times sine, 245.7 degrees. And of course, with an angle like 247.5 degrees, we'll have to get decimal approximations for the trig function values. So going to the calculator, we first need to make sure the calculator is in degree mode by pressing mode, going down to the third row and highlighting degree, which in this case is already done. If it was not highlighted, we would press enter once the cursor is blinking on degree, and then go back to the home screen by pressing second mode for quit, and the x component again is 24 times cosine of 245.7 degrees. We're told to round to two decimal places. Notice how in the third decimal place we have a six, which indicates you round up to negative 9.88. So the x component is approximately negative 9.88. And now we will find the y component. But let's also change the equal sign to an approximation symbol since we are approximating the x and y components. And the y component is equal to 24 times sine 245.7 degrees. Notice now we have a three in the third decimal place. We round down to negative 21.87. We'll notice how this does match our graph because both the x and y components are negative and the vector lies in the third quadrant. I hope you found this helpful.